Hey guys, it's Bia here and we're back with another video. Now this is a very special video because it's something that you guys participated in. And um, for those who do not follow my accounts on social media, on TikTok and Instagram, you missed out. And if you want to be involved in any future um, polls and, you know, be involved with the videos and what I make, you should go follow those. The links will be in the description. And so what happened was, I realized uh, this is the time of the year where the Met Gala happens. Well, I'm a bit late now because this is taking me so long to do. Um, I decided to make a look from last year's Met Gala. Now, I did not just want to choose it myself and do some random dress. No, I decided to ask you guys what you wanted. So I made you choose between Kim's dress and Kylie's dress. And there was an overwhelmingly uh, strong, um, I don't know what you might call it, like strong preference over Kylie's dress, which is the purple, fluffy, super bodycon and tight, and it was all sparkly. So for some reason, everyone preferred that dress. I had to think about it for at least a week. I've been thinking about how I'm going to make this happen. I was not sure. And... I finally came up with a way to make it happen without having to buy any fabric. This is basically all off of my wonderful fabric storage, which I've been keeping for like years now. I've been stocking up on fabric and it's not huge rolls of fabric, which means I have very little choice in what I can do. But somehow the perfect combination came up. And it's like you guys knew what I could do. I'm going to explain to you guys how I am going to make this happen. I'm going to use this for the inside. Basically the part where that is the under, under layer that is going to protect me. So you guys don't see, you know, <clears throat> body parts that you're not allowed to be seen. And then for the thing on top, I'm going to use this wonderful thin... Uh, I think this is called power mesh uh, fabric and I'm going to cover this whole thing in the design of the glitters so I don't want to give more away I want you guys to watch it so let's get started first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mix the different glitters together and I had like how many one two three four five six seven like seven have I counted it properly? I don't even know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. Anyways, uh, so I mixed all these together. And at first I was really careful because I was um, scared of getting the wrong colors. And I was trying to mix in um, glitters that came just as like uh, little flakes. And I was testing how it would be like to um, use these all together. Obviously, some of them are grey, some of them are purple, some of them are pink. Some of them are glittery and some of them are just a colour. So I was really trying to get the right mix together. And at this point, I didn't know how much I was going to need. But I was trying my best to mix it properly. Obviously, it was really hard. As you can see, I'm trying my best to mix it all and make it even, but it was a real struggle. Then I used this one that was uh, a glitter that came in with hearts and I mixed it in just, you know, try my best. Now, as you can see here, I had started doing the circles, but my camera didn't record for some reason. So here is where we are. I have started doing the circles and it was a struggle guys because i had mixed the hearts in with the other things so they wouldn't go through the tip of the um, of the what's it called the thing that I was using <laughs> what's the name please tell me in the comments uh and of the ball okay container it wasn't coming out so i had to keep picking them out hey guys so here's what happened yesterday when i was doing this the camera uh I thought it was recording and turns out it was so what happened was overnight while this was drying it um just stuck to my table and obviously i have not finished there's more fabric to go but um i'm gonna have to pull this whole thing out and i'm gonna uh, let you guys uh, see as we do this also, I started out with smaller uh, rings and then I realized I'm not going to have enough of this 
to finish the whole thing. So I'm gonna I'm basically start to doing larger circles. But anyways, let's keep going. Welcome back to my voiceover, guys. <laughs> As you can see, I am trying to pull this thing out. And uh, you can also see that the sun keeps coming out. And then it hides again. And it comes out. And it hides again. And that was my life. And also you can see that I have been wearing so many outfits throughout this video. So now I'm wearing the turquoise shirt. And I'll let you guys know when I'm wearing a new outfit. Obviously this took me days on and days and days to finish. And please leave a like below because that will help me so much. Just literally for all this hard work I had. That's all I ask you guys in return. Just a like. It will make my life like so much better. Please. It will show me the appreciation for all this hard work I had to do. Like, I couldn't even need... After, like, two days of doing this, these circles, which is what happened, I could not uh, grab anything with my right hand. Like, my left hand, I still could kind of use my, my right hand. I've been working so hard that it just hurt any movement I did with it. Anyways, as you can see, I am doing the beautiful circles all the way around, even though sometimes you can't see because when I move, the sun just gets super bright. And I am going all the way around throughout this whole process. I had to stop, take out the little hearts that were inside, put them on the side in like a piece of paper. Obviously, I cut that out of the video because this is so long, but as I was going through the whole thing, this just kept happening over and over and over again because the tip is so thin. Look, as I said, I had to keep doing that. Um, and the, the hearts just blocked it, so I had to keep going. Um, also, I tried my best to make this look like her dress. Obviously, it won't be the same because she has Versace working on her dress for months. And I spent like weeks doing this like two three weeks doing this from the day i made the poll i think it's been like a month probably since i did, did that and i'm so late with this video because i've had so many complications with storage with my phone with uh things drying things not working things being lost it's just been so difficult to make this video but i've made it through sorry for the rant but i had to let you guys know because this was the biggest struggle ever um also, let me know what you think of my method. If you would have done this, how would you have done it? What would you do differently? Obviously, this is probably not the most, the best method to, you know, copy her dress. But I tried my best and I used everything I had. I made sure I did not buy any new fabric or any new material to do this. I did it all with things I had at home. And yeah, anyways, as I'm saying, now I'm going to be cutting it in half. I'm going to be making the shape essentially what i'm doing i have this wonderful tech file thing that we had from uni and i keep everything we ever make and for my last project it was a swim i made a swimsuit well i never finished because of covid 19 but anyways um i'm going to be using that as a st like as a template to make the swimsuit because as you can see she has the swimsuit underneath the sparkly dress so this is what i'm going to use to make that and then obviously let's get to it I am not going to make the top like hers because I don't have boobs like that. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I just don't. I don't have my plastic surgeons in my back, you know. <laughs> That's not how it works around here. But it will still fit me nicely. It will still work. As you can see, this fits me perfectly because everything I make, I make it to my size. Anything that fits me also fits my mannequin, which is perfect. So I can work back and forth with that. So I'm going to proceed by making a line where I want it to stop like the swimsuit where I want it to go as you guys can see um, and then I'm going to use that so that I can um, cut it off at that point instead of having the the shoulders like the sleeve part because I don't need that for my dress so I'm just going to use that to make the shape around my body obviously I already knew this was going to fit me perfectly because I've made the suits to fit me perfectly so this was less work for me obviously if anyone was going to do this you'd have to uh make your own or find another way if you ever want me to make a video on how to make a swimsuit i can do that as well it was not that hard to be honest but um it depends on the things that you have at home that will make it easier for you guys 
um, now I am just uh, marking out and then I am cutting um, the swimsuit uh, like using the swimsuit as a template okay so now I got the back and I did the front now I'm going to cut the swimsuit itself and I am pinning it all the way around now I'm cutting it this is actually going really quickly <laughs> Um, and this is the moment where I realized I just wasted fabric because I did not realize that I was going to only cut out literally what I just said to you guys I need to cut out uh, only up to that line I made and I just forgot what I literally had planned to do my memory is going very quickly anyways I am now doing the outlines because cutting it on my legs was not working very well and I need this to be perfect so I did that instead okay there was little bits that obviously I failed at doing correctly so now I had to fix them and then I used my pattern master that I always tell you guys about to make a straight line and boom now I have the front and now I'm going to do the same thing for the back so next thing is I was sewing them by I started by doing a zigzag stitch on the edge and then I will do um, just a running stitch over it because I don't have the the overlocker that we would use at uni so I have to do it this way obviously it's not as perfect as it would be if I was doing it on the overlocker now guys I'm sewing it from the inside and um, I'm sorry I haven't been recording while I'm sewing because you can't really see that well anyways. So I have basically made the swimsuit and I've made the dress now I'm just joining them together through the area uh, around where the chest is so all the way around. And then I will um, finish off the dress at the bottom and that will be it. However we have a little issue which I will show you in a moment so can you see the problem this is like too uh cream like the color is too beigey and it's not purple enough i mean it looks good in terms of the shape and in like how it's gonna come out underneath we have the swimsuit i don't know if you can see it very well so my plan now is i'm going to put this on i'm gonna show you guys and i'm gonna try and fix it by adding more of the purple I still have some of this left so I can do as much like as much as possible to essentially make it all purple so let's get to it using my rest of the glitter essentially anything I had I was trying to cover the whole dress in this thing and I started out by covering the bigger size and making it very messy and then later on I went in and I tried to fix it and make it nicer um i started with just pouring it then i used the pin and then eventually i realized that that wasn't good so i started using a brush and i that worked for a while until i realized i had to do a little surgery and i had to say goodbye to my bottle but this was necessary and this was a sacrifice i had to make in order to continue this journey um, so I kept going and this helped me use the rest that were inside because there was actually a lot that was not being used and you guys know I'm not about to waste any of this when I have limited resources um, so then I kept going and I really tried to use my brush to spread it really evenly I tried to get it to cover as much area as possible and just use it as efficiently as I could at this point it looks very messy I know it looks horrible but trust me eventually you'll see the final product and at this point I just let all the hearts go on it because it would take so long to try and get rid of them that I just gave up on that but yeah and then soon enough I ran out of the glitters inside of this and I moved on to another method, which was using the lid. I was really going there. If I, I was going there. I was using everything. Every single resource. So don't forget to leave a like and support me in my um, adventures. <laughs> Please, help me. A like equals one pound donated to be a charity. <laughs> I'm joking. Next, I decided that, um, well, I didn't decide, I had no option. I um, sacrificed another wonderful bottle and I did some more surgery on it. And we had to say goodbye to another friend of ours. Thank you for supporting and 
letting yourself be sacrificed for the sake of this YouTube video. <laughs> you will forever be remembered. Okay, guys, so here is the dress so far. Um, I still need to do a seam over here. And there's another thing I need to do. So essentially what happened was, while I was covering this whole thing in glitter, I... Um, the glitter had these hearts inside so what i am gonna have to do now is i'm going to have to remove every single heart because obviously her dress did not have any so good luck to me i guess and i've taken all of the red hearts from the dress with the tweezers and i am thinking i might leave the other ones because this dress is still very pale like i'm trying everything to make it more purple and as purple as i can for some reason, it just, to me, it seems, still seems very beige. But, um, so I'm going to leave all of the pink and purple hearts. And I have taken away all the red hearts. So everything here, look, it's all pink. Although sometimes it might look red because of the reflection. It is all pink and purple. So, um, I have taken out all the hearts, as I said. And now the next uh, stage is to fix up the dress over here. Now, before I start putting all these feathers on it, I need to fix this up because this is too loose. And as you guys know, hers is like super tight like this. So I am going to go ahead and sew these sides inwards. So the seam, I will just tuck it in more and make it like that from both sides. Okay guys, so, um, the final step in this is going to be adding the feathers, now, these are the feathers I have, and um, as you can see in her picture, she has feathers at the bottom, obviously I don't think I will be able to do as many as she does, but the plan is, I'm going to get these feathers, I'm going to dye them, and then I will cut the bits out and I will attach them to the bottom of the dress. So the first step is going to be get some water into this pot. Drop some beautiful dye onto the water and let it drop. And then mix. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to use your feather to do a test and see how um, it absorbs the dye and then proceed to shove every single feather in at once. Now observe the beautiful final dyed feathers as they fall from my hand into the slow motion video I've created specifically so for guys, this. So guys, I have finally made the beautiful feathers. And the next step will be to either glue them or sew them now i'm not sure yet what i'm going to do but obviously they are not uh basically they're just laying on top of each other so like i can just do this and they're just gonna come out so i either go up onto the dress or i add another layer i think i might add a bit of fabric down here just so they can have some support and they can go down so we're back now to the voiceover i know you guys love the voiceover I have my wonderful uh, feathers and now I'm going to start gluing them, starting with the longest feathers at the bottom and then working yourself up to the smaller feathers to towards the top because we want these to stick as far as they can go because I have limited feathers and mine does not reach the floor like Kylie Jenner's dress as I did not have enough resources, but this is what we can do. Anyways, as I was saying... Uh, put the glue first, then get your wonderful chicken feathers and slap them on top. Um, and keep doing this throughout the whole thing. And have no sleep, essentially. Tirelessly fight against your phone for days. And you'll be doing exactly what I did for the past weeks. <laughs> Anyways, leave a like. I keep telling you this for the whole video because I struggled so bad, you don't understand. I used my phone to do all of this and it ran out of space many times and then I had to back it up and then I had to move the picture somewhere else and ah, long story short it was a big nightmare so please leave a like and comment below what you like about the stress please <laughs> one like equals one donation of one pound to a child in need aka me <laughs> joking um 
So, uh, we keep going with the feathers. As you can see, some of them absorb the, the dye a bit more than others, but I can't really control that. Uh, I think it's just natural. Each each one just does the its own thing, you know. Uh, now that we've moved on forward, you can see that I've done quite a lot of feathers already, and I'm starting to lay them over each other to get all the way to the line of the dress and now I'm pulling it out and I'm struggling so bad but I managed in the end wow <laughs> it's okay anyways let's continue uh, now I'm just doing that a little bit at the back because I wanted most of them to be at the front anyways because no one's going to see the back of this dress it's mostly just for the front and for it to look cute, so, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> hmm. um, I'm just going to keep sticking, and that's it. I think I'm reaching the end, and soon enough you guys will see the final piece. Don't forget to subscribe, and let me know what else you guys would like me to make. Hopefully next time I'll have more things that I can use to make the new outfits. This time it was... Um, what I could do while in quarantine and without being able to go to a fabric store. So that's it. I hope you enjoy and let's go to the final montage. <laughs>